Hey everybody, let's take a look at how you can submit a quiz for play on the Oracle Dev Gym. So you've logged into the Oracle Dev Gym and you see the home page. Click on your name and then select Submit Quiz. Then you'll be taken to the Submit Quiz Editor. Now, you can either input your text directly, which is what I'm going to focus on in this video, or you can submit a quiz using a template, or you can submit a quiz from a script. Those will be covered in separate videos. So submitting a quiz. First of all, it's best to write the quiz in advance, especially if it's involving code. Once you've basically written out your quiz, it's time to put it into the system. So the first thing is to decide on the type of quiz. Multiple choice, multiple choice one right, true false. Multiple choice means that one or more choices could be correct or maybe none of them. Multiple choice one right means that only one choice could possibly be correct. So for example, if your quiz is along the lines of, I run this code, which of the choices show what will be displayed on the screen? Clearly only one choice could be correct. But in general, our quizzes focus on multiple choice in which there's a bit more ambiguity, making it more interesting and challenging. All right, so I'm gonna do a multiple choice quiz. Next, what's the focus of my quiz? What technology do I wanna teach people in my quiz? You have a lot to choose from here. These are all the different domains or technologies that we currently support in the Oracle Dev Gym. I'm gonna pick my favorite, Oracle PL SQL, and notice I can drill down and pick from a more specific topic. If you're beginning to build quizzes on, a, on an area that's not already fully fleshed out in the Dev Gym, then you can add the topic as you go. So for example, I'm gonna say, I'll do a quiz on built-in functions. Now, if I want to, if I haven't found exactly the focus or the topic that I wanna to write the quiz on, I can say that's the closest I can come, that's the parent. I'll create a new one under this one. Please do so sparingly search out the topics we currently have to make sure there isn't one that will fit you best. All right, so a quiz on built-in functions. Now I have to ask the question for the quiz. Which of the choices identifies a built-in function in PL SQL? And I can provide an explanation for string functions, substring and instring are among the most common. Next, the choices. You can enter up to five on this wizard, but you can enter more later in the quiz editor. And at this point, you also have one basic choice to make or one basic decision. Are your choices composed of code, for example, a block or a select statement or a Java class or text with or without code? If you mark it as code, then we'll automatically wrap your text in pre's to get it ready for correct formatting. In this case, since I'm just gonna be listing the names of functions, I'm gonna go with text. So I'm gonna put in substring in string, between string, is null number. The first two are correct. We have built-in functions with those names. The second two are not correct, and that's good to go. So let's click on next. Then I can preview my quiz, make sure it's good. It's actually been submitted, so it's been saved. But I can now ask myself, does this look pretty good? Because I have a couple of choices. I can either go back and make more changes right through this wizard, which is convenient. So for example, is null number, that sounds too unlikely. So is null value. I'll make that a little bit more challenging, I hope. Is null value. Okay, so what's next? First of all, at this point, my quiz is in draft status. It can't be played until it's finalized. I can either finalize it myself, which I can do if I'm an experienced quiz master and feel comfortable with the technical content of my quiz. I can also submit it for review and allow reviewers in my domain to take over and give me feedback and help me finalize the quiz. I can dive into the quiz editor, which offers a lot of bells and whistles and toggles and switches to fine tune my quiz further and then explicitly request a submit for review from the editor. I can also add my quiz to a workout if I'm building a workout for players to use as part of a class or as a standalone workout. If you're not sure of your next step, then check out my other videos on using the quiz editor, building workouts in the dev gym, and more details on the review and finalization process. And you can always click on your quizzes to see your list of quizzes that you've authored. In addition, you can go to my quizzes to see them as well. So hopefully that gives you a nice head start 
on submitting and working with quizzes in the dev gym. We look forward to your contributions and having thousands of, of developers benefiting from your quizzes.